Hey guys, in this video I have some PR from Madame Glam. I'm actually excited about this one because as far as my PR with Madame Glam goes, I've only ever been able to try polishes, but I actually have some fun stuff in here that I can't wait to show you guys. And I'm also going to be doing a few designs. So I've got some of the acrylic art pens and I also have some of their new chrome gel paints. I can't actually wait to swatch these because I want to see how they look. I've got the vintage chrome gel paint, I've got the gold chrome paint and then I also have the rose chrome gel paint. This one I think is going to be really pretty. My rep had asked me to choose five colours of the acrylic pens but I believe they have eight or ten. I'm not quite sure, I'll put it on the screen. I also have this in here. If you was able to read it, it does say welcome to the influencer community. That's because I have a new rep now. So if you're wondering, like, she's not new, that is why. So I opened most of these off camera and took the plastic off. I seen on Conjure Up Nels' channel, she opens these gel paints in a really good way. She opens like half of it and then that way you can kind of scoop the excess out on the side of the foil and that's how i'm gonna start opening all my paint pots from now on it's such a good idea i'm gonna swatch these over black first i might actually do it over clear as well i just want to see if it pops more on the black this one kind of reminds me of the silver chrome gel paint. I used it, I don't even know how long ago it was, but it was quite some time ago. With the silver chrome gel paint, I know that once you cure it, if you go over it with a top coat, you dull the shyness so I want to see if that's the same with these it probably is but I just want to check I also want to quickly add that I won't be sharing my discount code in this video because I don't have it I'm waiting on my code to be fixed once I do get it I'll put it in the comments and I'll have it pinned <laughs> So this is how the chromes are looking. I'm gonna top coat this one just so you can see how it looks um, top coated. Also, if I'm sounding terrible, my allergies just kind of, you know, slap me in the face out of nowhere. <laughs> so I'm really feeling it right now, but the video must go on. So I top coated the left one and the right one isn't top coated. And I feel like it doesn't make a difference. I feel like the shine of it looks the same which is good because with the other silver chrome paint if you top coat it it dulls it so i'm happy that that's not happening with this one now i'm gonna swatch these acrylic pens so with these you shake them and then you press the tip down and then it will bring the color out So already I'm liking the pigment of these. I like that these are kind of true to the whole Madame Glam's one coat coverage because if you were doing like, you know, the swell line design, all you'd have to do is just, you know, hit it once and it would be good enough. So the white isn't so pigmented but the design I actually was gonna do it works out perfect for this white to be not as pigmented with this you'd have to go over it twice but it's still pretty good for a pen So 
so i just had a read of this and reading is fundamental it says you're not supposed to cure it it dries in like 20 seconds so i've literally been curing these <laughs> but yeah guys don't be like me you don't need to cure it i skim read it and i seen uv slash led so i was like you know it's a nail product i need to cure it but you don't so i top coated the pens and this is how they're looking the black didn't seem to go on very black at first but once it dried it turned black but i'm really happy with how the pink looks it's really pigmented same with the red with the white it could be that i didn't shake it up as much but these are pretty nice so the design i want to do is a rose quartz design the color i'm going to be using is from madame glam and this is love energy this is the rosiest color that i have from madame glam So I'm going to put some of this in here. I just tested it off camera. I'm hoping it turns out how I just did it. But I need a little bit of that in there. So my memory card ran out right when I was doing it. But basically, this is the result I'm going for. I'm going to paint up another swatch stick. So I can show you guys how I did that. But that sucks. I should have looked up a lot sooner. But I did all of that and it wasn't recording. But I'll be back with another swatch stick. So what I had done was... I put some of this into my little tray. I had to do this next part as a voiceover because I wasn't making any sense. But next I grabbed my brush and then I put it in 91% alcohol. It looks cloudy because I had tested a nail off camera. So I dipped my brush in here and then I put it, I put it into the white and I just made like this type of, you know, smoke looking design. And it should dry looking almost like, you know, the the inks. This one sucks. The, the first one I did is so much better, but you kind of want there to be more acetone than there is the ink because the first one I did was just perfect because it's not as white as the one i just did i'm gonna go over this with a top coat and then i'm gonna build on it i'm gonna draw more lines to make it look more rose quartz like so this is how both of them are looking once they're top coated it kind of dissipates a little bit it's not as white so i'm thinking to also work on this one as i'm working on this one just to see which one i do prefer so it's been two days since i last filmed and I think where I last left off is I applied some of that white and then I top coated it. Next, I'm gonna apply a really thin layer of a milky top coat. I got this one from Amazon. I really do like this one. So this is how it's looking after I applied the thin layer of that milky white top coat. You can still see the white underneath it which is great. It seems like with rose quartz nails, jade nails, you know those stone types of nail designs, the layering is kind of what makes it look realistic. I will say that I'm going for like a cheap method or a quick type of method so I'm not going to do too much. I just want the basic look to be there if that makes any sense but I was kind of playing around with the other swatch stick off camera and I decided to actually take a little bit of this pink and incorporate it into the lines just to kind of give it a little bit more depth.
so i'm gonna apply some matte top coat to this one because i do want to see how it looks because with some of the rose quartz crystals they're not polished so they have like the matte finish to it so i kind of want to see how it looks on a nail if it doesn't look good i'll just you know put shiny top coat back over it but i'm hoping it looks good so this is how it's looking with the matte top coat i think if i'm gonna do a matte top coat i could probably use less of the pink to finish this design i'm gonna go in with the gold chrome paint and i'm gonna do an outline So these are how they turned out this was the one i did off camera this one is just a shiny top coat and i did go in with some of that chrome paint and made some lines and this one i just filmed for tiktok it's always funny how the one i do off camera ends up being the best one this one is definitely my favorite as far as how i apply the acrylic and alcohol mixture these two I think turned out a little bit harsh but I do think that they're all really pretty. If you had this as a whole set I think it would shine and it would all look so good. But let me know which one is your favourite. Let me know what you guys think of this nail design. If you guys enjoyed this video like, comment and subscribe and thank you guys for watching.